Okay, so this is a tutorial for anyone who has recently received a Virgin Media booster. Um, so they usually give you the big one and the small one which you connect to the hub um, with the Ethernet cable. Anyone who is struggling to connect the booster to the hub um, you tried all the you followed all the instructions on the manual um, Virgin Media also have an app um, which I will show you you can follow the instructions on here so you go on um, need a hand and then Wi-Fi boosters and then you can follow this as well and then um, so you tried all that doesn't work you're still not getting any signal in your um, room um, so this video is for you um, so after you've done all that uh, you need to go we need to go over to the computer your computer laptop any mobile device and then um, type in this number on the URL so it's 192.168.0.1 and then you'll get this but you won't say welcome back I believe um, so on the password you wouldn't usually you wouldn't put your usual Wi-Fi password you put the settings password okay so once you've done that it will load this up and this will be your front page so once you're here you need to go on advanced settings and wireless and then you'd go wireless signal no sorry you wouldn't go wireless signal you'd go to security and then you'd come down to add device and then this is where you put your device name mac address that one wireless radio and uh, you can do both 2.4 um, gigahertz and five so if you click on that and then device name so for example if I show you mine okay so I've taken a picture of my one and so this is where you basically this is the um, the password you would put at the start and uh, not this one and then what you need to put is your device name that uh, MAC address that and then click on both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz as well um, and then when you come down um, you'll see your device name oh so you click on add device and then this will pop up it takes a little long um, for them to be added on and then um, apply changes so when it does go on I think it says that gives you two options wait and then close um, close tab or something like that but click on wait and then it will be added on there and then apply changes and then it should save and just to add to that it won't be um, a, a different Wi-Fi um, address so it won't um, so your white under your Wi-Fi settings um, the good thing as well is that when you're changing when you're going from your living room to your room um, you won't have to connect to a different network um, it will be all under one network which is your main hub um, well you will stay on the same one but it just extends the range and it's actually amazing so if I show you my one there you go so I'm still getting amazing speed in my room as well so I was never getting that before in my room so yeah it does work um, it worked for me and I hope this works for everyone else um, if you have any questions drop it down in the comment section and if I can help I will try